Hey guys. Uh, it is a wet, rainy day in Northern California. I'm the Etc. Kid. If this is your first show and you're wondering what's going on, this show is all about improv, improvisation. Uh, everything I do is improvised, but it grows out of things that you guys request in chat. You guys choose the sounds, the speed of the song, the key of the song. I turn your usernames into drum loops and drum fills. So what we do is very collaborative. Uh, and w each song would not exist were it not for the choices you guys make in chat. So with that introduction, looks like we got a bunch of folks here already. Let's say hello to Rosanetto. I haven't seen you in a while, Rosanetto. How's it going? Let's see. Dom Dude is here. Ship Snacks is here. Marimba Mime. Casilton. Uh, Magask. If there's anyone else who's here, uh, I don't see your name yet because my chat program uh, is the size of the font. Oh, Drift Monkey's here. Let's see, what just happened here? Why is that not updating? There we go. There we go. Now I see more on my screen. <laughs> so I um, I don't have a car. I do drive. Uh, but I don't have a car. I bicycle uh, through everything. And uh, today I had to make some trips and it was pouring, and I was not prepared with the right rain gear, and I was absolutely soaked, and I'm still a little damp. I've been trying to dry my clothes, but I didn't have an extra pair at the studio. So if, I, if, I, if my plane is a little soggy, that's my explanation. But I'm not complaining at all, because the, the Northern Calif California as a whole, we need all the rain we can get, so I'm happy to get wet if it means better environment in California. So anyway, oh yeah, Dom, Dom knows what I'm talking about. Dom has been dealing with it as well. <laughs> the thing is when you're biking in the rain, there's not a lot you can do unless you have, you know, totally waterproof outfit on because you're just biking right into the torrent. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's, we need to dive right into this because I have a hard stop tonight. I have to stop by, I have to be stream done out the door basically by 11 p.m. Eastern because my housemates and I are doing some interviews of prospective new roommates. So I cannot be late for that. So we're going to just chug along today, get our get our songs in. So I'm going to start bringing in these requests right away. Let's see. Okay, just bringing them in. <laughs> you guys filled it up. Look at that. A minor from Casilton. 126 beats a minute from Magask. We got drum moves from Funky Pigeon and Drift Monkey. Full set of drum fills. We got our kit from Ship Snacks, the Sunset Kit. Bunch of sounds. We'll look at those in a moment. Hey, Lost Elf. Well, when I say short stream, it'll be probably just under three hours, which is still a decent length, you know. <laughs> hey, ship snacks. Okay, let's load up these sounds. But I told her, I got back to the studio and I was doing, you know, you know how when you uh, don't have waterproof boots and your or shoes and they just, your feet sort of squish. There's that squishing sound as you walk because it's so, your shoes are so filled with water. 
that was me uh so it was an hour and a half ago when i got got here rainy day well this is nothing i i lived on the east coast for many years and me and my buddies we were we were hardcore bicycle bicyclists there as well and we would bike no matter how much snow there was we would bike we would bike when there was a foot of snow so rain is nothing <laughs> especially relatively warm rain but I am wet. I will. I am. I am definitely wet from the rain. <laughs> hey, Harag. Good luck with that practicing in the exam. Four hours. Har Harag, are you in? Where, where are you? Where are you that you would have an exam in four hours? Ah, I see. You've got an exam at 6 in the morning? That's crazy. That should not be legal, Harag. Does anyone's brain work at 6 a.m.? I used to be a morning person, but uh, less so now. But I would get up and start practicing at 6. Back in, when I was in college, actually. I'd often get up around 5.30 or 6 to start practicing. Okay, let's see. Did I say hi to a dorkable pony? I might I'll say it again if I did. If I did not. Okay. Wait, I'm getting way ahead of myself. Look at this. We're not ready for that. Okay, we've got Sunset Kit. There it is. So let us initialize import our track names. There we go. Generate our drum fills. Generate our drum loops. Okay, let's look at these loops. We got Funky Pigeons loop. Let's listen to it once. Raw. <laughs> that is that is pretty frenetic right there, Funky Pigeon. We're gonna we're gonna calm it down just a little bit. We're gonna retain that that energy but make it slightly more hospitable to the kid we're just changing some volumes a bit whoops i didn't mean to press that and we're gonna add one snare there and that's looking good to me i don't think we need to do any that Let's check this out now. I might make one other change. Yeah. Nice. That's a nice beat right there. It's got some funk in it, I think. Now we check out Drift Monkey's beat. Let's check it out raw. I always I love the space. I love the space from the numbers. I'm in no rush to fix that because neat things happen with those numbers. Whoops, what did I just press? Okay. I'm going to add, let's ghost these snares a bit. And now we will put a snare there, but that's it. Uh, one kick. That's good. Let's check out Drift Monkey's beat. <laughs> oh, man. There's a syncopation in that that might trip me up. But I'm, I'm going to leave it. I like it though. That's from Drift Monkey. So let's check out the sounds you guys give me. Ah, 
Oh, our Kisopnas, it's 17 degrees. Crazy. <laughs> Let's see. We have... Hey, Walrus. Walrus. We got a double bass from Ship Snacks. My hands are, my hands are chilly. So my studio, it does not have air conditioning or heat. Which, since I'm in the Bay Area, that's not the worst thing, but it, it's not ideal sometimes. Arctic Noise lead from Casilton. <laughs> We got violins pizzicato from Carlito, eh, Carlito? That's cool. Then we got Glockenspiel. We've, and that came from Megask. And then another comp from Rosen Nettle. Nice. So those are our sounds. I'm going to pull down my sleeves. <laughs> it's, just, it's cold. It is cold. My sweatshirt is still sort of damp. That's probably part of why I'm a little cold. Okay. Whoops. You guys choose which sound starts the track. I'll play them once more. Or we can start with one of the drum loops. That's double bass. Arctic noise lead. Violins to pizzicato. Glockenspiel. Bases. Another comp. So those are your options. And what am I going to do? Right over there. The double bass is buzzing out. It is pretty buzzy. You don't mean it's uh, distorting, do you? It is crank, though. Yeah, it's Wizard of Odds. Oh, and, and Kid Charlemagne's here. Nice. Hey, and what up, Jevis is here? Everyone's everyone's showing up. Yeah, I need to bring a space heater over here, although it's a pretty big room, this this room I'm in. <laughs> I don't know. What's really funny is that um, I bought a... Uh, those of you who saw my early streams was when it was incredibly hot in here. Uh, because it's it's airtight this room and so just when temperatures rise it doesn't matter like I'll walk out there's there's a there's this room and then I have a, a bigger room that this room is inside of and I'll walk out and the temperature out there would be super cool but I walk in here it'd be crazy so I bought an air conditioner and I haven't had to like finally I said I have to buy an air conditioner and I got it and then I haven't used it once because it then got cold <laughs> <laughs> so, but I don't have a heater in here. Okay. So, uh, da, 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 da. what what am I thinking here? Um, voting. Yes, you guys have been voting. I'm gonna wait a moment more. <laughs> hey, Krypton. Okay, I'm gonna end voting. Let's see. 
Glockenspiel. Okay. That's interesting. Glockenspiel. How are we going to work that? Okay. So, let us get our, get everything ready. So, per usual, as I am uh, doing this improv, be thinking about titles that you think might be uh, the right the right name for this, whatever it is. And by typing exclamation point title and then whatever your suggestion is. And we'll look at those after. We'll, we'll, I'll choose a few to vote on. Uh, if you're new and haven't made any requests yet, uh, you can sort of chat. You can see in chat how people have been requesting. There's a lot of information below. There's a, a web link. Um, so lots of ways to get involved. So, okay. First, here I go. This song is going to warm me up. I know it. So wish me luck as I dive into the first improv of the day. It is time to etcetera.
<laughs> I got a little nose food in. It's fine. It's it's a little tricky. I forgot. It's a little tricky to play the nose food when you're a little stuffed up. Not for the gross reasons you're thinking, but just because I was having a hard time controlling my, the airstream. I finally got it going, though. It reminds me of... Uh, um, that moment reminded me, that sound, just a little bit, just vaguely reminded me of this track. Um, any of you guys listen to Herbie Hancock? He's a keyboard player. Uh, he, has a, he has a song called Watermelon Man, if I'm remembering right. And there are two different versions. There's a version he did on a Headhunters album in the 70s. And it starts out with this, this funky flute sound that's a wooden flute, or I'm not sure what it is, but just vaguely reminded me of that. Anyway, thank you guys. Glad you enjoyed. But yeah, I think maybe I should not play any more nose food tonight. <laughs> which is probably a good, good bet because I've only played it once before, which was yesterday. I don't think I'd ever played it on stream. or Maybe I talked about it, but I hadn't actually played it. Anyway, did you guys come up with some titles? Let's see. Let's look. My bot's going to bring them up for me. Let's see. <laughs> okay, nice. There's some fun ones here. Okay, so remember, do not vote until I have pressed the begin voting button or your vote will not cr count. Uh, we have... Forest Critter Boogie from The Lost Elf. Tommy Tiptoes from Carlito. Um, <laughs> Racing the Deluge from Dom Dude. <laughs> the Power of the Beanie. From Jacob Eats Pizza and Tracers Through Toyland from Rosanetto. Nice. So those are your options. I Krypton89, I, I I dug your Ewok Strolling in Neverland. Uh, I have to be a little careful with, with words that could potentially be trademarked. And it's possible that Ewoks, are, the word is trademarked. So I have to be careful of that. But it was a fun title. Hey, Death Killer. Oh, and Chief Cheddar's here. Corbin MLG. Wow, hey, everybody. How's, how's studying going, Death Killer? You done with files yet or still, still got some more? Okay, votes are coming in. Let's see, I just did nose flute. I'm just going to jump around a bit. Warm up. Whew. Okay. That reminds me. Um, I don't know. Remember the outcome of this? But when I lived in. Uh, well, when when I was in high school. I remember there being this story in the newspaper because we had a, a sort of a local uh, eccentric who lived in, in the community. Uh, and he petitioned the court. He wanted to ch legally change his name to Coke is It. <laughs> and I, I, I don't, I wish I remembered whether he was allowed to. But the thing of, one of the things about America we live in America here, is that unlike a lot of countries in the world, even democracies, in America you can pretty much change your name to anything. <laughs> yeah. No matter how ridiculous it might be, it is not that difficult to do. Whereas in a lot of countries you're allowed to pick a name off of a list. If it's not on the list, you can't use it. But not in America... You could name, you could change your name to the worst possible thing if you wanted to, 
There's no big brother saying, hey, you can't change your name to that. Except maybe a big corporation like Coke, Coca-Cola. But again, I don't know. Maybe he got away with it. I, I, I was young when it happened, so I don't remember the, the outcome, sadly. Okay, I'm in you voting. <laughs> Ship snacks. I'm not sure if you're saying I should change my name to the etc. kid or everybody in chat should change your name to the etc. kid. It could be like The Walking Dead. For those of you guys who watch The Walking Dead, right? We're all Negan. We're all the etc. kid. <laughs> We actually had the real Negan in chat last night, for those of you who were here yesterday. I feel like that would be a funny channel to start, um, where basically every single user has the same name and then a number that's a different number because you can't have the same username. Wouldn't that be freaky if you if you went to to this random channel and there's like a hundred different chatters, but they all have a, the exact same username except for a different number? That would be pretty freaky. It'd be like the first cult. Are there any cults on uh, on Twitch? Are there any cult channels? You know, freaky with weird rituals and stuff? I think that would be. That would be and if you didn't have if you didn't have a username, the exact same username as everyone else, you'd instantly get banned <laughs> from the channel. You could only lurk. Yeah, Shift Snacks, you're right. You this the etc. kid is a composite of every all you guys. Because what I do exists because of what you guys give me. <laughs> I don't know if I want to, I don't think I want to, to, to create such an exclusive. I might start a second channel. Maybe I'll start a second channel. That will be my kazoo channel. Uh, and every user will have to be kazoo and then a number. <laughs> oh, I, was, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Race in the deluge. Did I say that? Dom Dude. I came from Dom Dude. So Dom Dude and I have been racing the deluge today since we're both in Northern California where it has been pouring rain the last couple days, which is awesome. But it means we're wet. Wet from all the rain. <laughs> I just got a, a kind donation from Walrus. Thank you for the thank you very much. See, I hear all you guys talking about how you watch this show while you're studying, and that makes me wonder if I should stop talking. Maybe I should just uh, you know, cuz I don't want to distract you cuz the music I think can so, you know. But if I'm talking, that's pretty distracting. I don't I want you guys to do well in your studies. Okay, let's see. Let us carry on. I want to have a pretty brisk pace today because as I told I think I told some of you at the beginning of the show, I I have to uh end very punctually. I have to be basically out the door by eleven PM Eastern time. So we're going to only do about three hours today. <laughs> Krypton's doing, finishing his master's in accounting. Needs distraction. Man, accounting. I've, I've never worked professionally as an accountant, but I have um, been in some positions where I had to do 
a lot of accounting. And that is something where you got to pay attention to detail. It's all about the details. Okay, let's see. Where are we at? Uh, it's just, just bringing these requests. I'm noticing I have very few key requests. I've got enough, but if, if you know, it's a good way to get involved. Let's do a key request. Okay, let's bring in the rest of these. Oh, once again, you guys filled it up. Let's see what you guys gave me. We got key of B-flat from McGask, 80 beats a minute from Walrus. Thanks again, Walrus. Uh, we have drum loops from Krypton89 and Jacob Eats Pizza. I got a full set of drum fills. We're going to look at these uh, sounds in a moment. Let's just start loading them up. While I get my mixer back to zero. Oh, that's, that's an interesting point, Krypton, that Krypton makes. That distractions can be good because uh, focusing too much makes you lose track of things and oftentimes overlook items. That's, you know, I, I should... I probably do that myself sometimes. I certainly have I have a uh, a tendency to overfocus. That is that is good good to think about right there. I think yeah, you're probably right cuz sometimes especially if you're doing something that has some elements that are repetitive, it's easy to go into autopilot. And that's when we make the most mistakes is when we're on autopilot, I think. At least for me. We've got slow jam kit from Adorkable Pony. Nice. Hey, bro, 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 bro. Oh, and Best Mommy's here, too. Oh, and Elite Six is here. Hey, guys. And did I say hi to Chief Ch Cheddar? I hope I did. So, we're going to bring in our track names, generate our drum fills, generate our drum loops. Let's check out these loops. Uh, ask. So I don't. I don't quite understand what you're asking. Uh, but uh, maybe rephrase it. I don't. So I'm sorry. I'm missing what what you mean. So try uh, try again, and I'll, hopefully I'm slow sometimes. I apologize. The overlay is cut off. Oh no! Oh no! I know how to fix it. I'm embarrassed that I I've never ever screwed that up before. Hold on. I've never screwed that up until today. Thanks for catching that. Oh that that previous song. I apologize. Oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> I blew it, guys. See, that's not on my checklist. There's, there's an example of autopilot, right? It wasn't on my checklist. I just didn't, you know, I've done it right for, what, 40 shows, however many shows I've done, and then, look, today I forgot. So I'm going to add it to my checklist. Fortunately, it was an easy fix. Oh, is that what you were referring to, Magask? Okay. 
Thank you. <laughs> yeah, for those of you guys who use OBS, that's the streaming software I use, uh, it does something called screen capture, which it captures another screen, and that's what the credits are, is another screen. Uh, and I had not maximized that other screen like I always do, and so it was capturing the screen in the wrong way, hence the embarrassing overlay. How amateurish of me. <laughs> I apologize, guys. Okay, let's look at our loops. We have a from Krypton89. Let's check it out once before I make my little adjustments. Nice. I like that. You know what? Let's break the rules. Let's. We're not going to have snare on 204 at all on this one. I am going to put a kick there. And I am going to drop these hats a little bit. And I think I need a kick there. And yeah, why not? Something different. This would be a different feeling beat. I want a hat there too, though. Ah, that I I like that. That is very different feeling. Cool. And then we have Jacob Eats Pizza's Beat. Let's check it out raw. You know what? I'm, this one I'm going to keep pretty close to. I, I think I'm in a mood to for sort of wackier. Wacky is not the right word, but less conventional beats. We are going to... Yeah. Why not? Let's check it out again. Just those little changes. Do I, do I want to do anything else? Let me just vary these kicks just a little bit. Okay, let's check out Jacob Beats Pizza's Beat. I like both these beats a lot. Those are cool. Very. See, basically 99% of, quote, popular music, and when I say popular music, that's the term that broadly describes anything that isn't classical or jazz, right? Or, uh, but like country rock, hip-hop, funk, punk, metal, whatever. So 99% of popular music, the emphasis is you have kicks on one and three and snares on two and four. And even when the beat doesn't follow those rules exactly, essentially it does. Even if there isn't a snare on two and four or a kick on one and three, it's still, that's the emphasis in the vast majority of popular music. Um is feeling one, two, three, four in that way. So it really, uh, when you don't have, when you have snares in unpredictable places and kicks in unpredictable places, it, it's definitely a different and uncommon. I know there are plenty of 1% exceptions, but again, 99% I think is pretty accurate. Um, but there are certainly exceptions to that rule. And today, and this song is one of those exceptions. So let's check out the sounds you guys give me. Yeah, 
That's 80s bass from Rosanetto. 70s funk clav from Lightburb. How's it going, Lightburb? Uh, that's right, really. Like 7 8 is an exception, but even in 7 8, sometimes uh, I've, a lot of 7 8 that people do, they, it still feels like it basically feels like 4 4, but with the last eighth note chopped off. So you still have this feeling of 1 and 3 kick and 2 and 4 snare, or some variation of that. But that's another thing. I, I would say probably 99.9% .9 of popular music is in 4-4 four, four or 12-8. There's very little variation. But then if you go into other kinds of music, there's much more variation. 3-4, We've got XB Hookie from KP Towney, K Pownie. <laughs> But when I when I did all my coding for this, unfortunately, I coded it to work well with 4-4, but not necessarily with other time signatures. So eventually I want to branch out. One of my favorite bands of all time is one of the most adventurous with time signatures, uh, Mahavishnu Orchestra. So I do love out there time signatures that's xp hooky we've got gamer from chip snacks <laughs> gamer hey dear maximus uh bra 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 bro Ask, how many people do you think have you on auto host? Uh, I don't know. Is there a way to uh, tell? Is there a way to see? <laughs> yeah, Jacob eats pizza. That one of the things on my list to do is actually is is go one step further than that. And I was thinking each week, this is once I finally get my social media in action, is uh, I was going to um, have sort of a mix each week of music I'm listening to. Um, but I also like that idea of uh, recommending the song. That's a good, good idea, too. It was fun. Yesterday we raided um, Floop TV. And he, because we raided, he gave me a free request. Flute plays drums, and he jams out to uh, what you know different videos you request from YouTube. Uh, and so I requested a relatively obscure track by the guitarist from Funkadelic, Eddie Hazel. Let's see, we got Fat Oh Bear Paws, Bear Paws from Kisilton. <laughs> We've got Fat FM from Carlito. Whoa. Nice. A fun set of sounds there. Okay, let us, you guys choose which one starts. I will demo them once more. We have 80s bass. I think that the one thing is a lot of the music I listen to is probably 
as probably a lot of most people in chat would not like or do not know yet that they might like Seventies Funk Cloud, XP Hookie, Gamer, Bear Paws, and Fat FM. <laughs> oh, it was not a video from Funkadelic. It was a solo. It was a solo record by Eddie Hazel. Uh, it wasn't actually a music video. It was just it was just, you know, a lot of people upload songs to YouTube where they just have the, you know, photo or something. Okay. Hey Real Negan, how you doing? I was actually talking about you earlier. You know, I was saying how we I was talking about how we should have a channel on Twitch where Every single user has the same username with just a different number, and it'd freak people out when they go to the channel, and you get banned instantly if you didn't have the exact same username as everybody else. And because I, I was reminded of that in Walking Dead, and how everybody is, everybody is named Negan. So I had a shout out, but you weren't here for it. Okay, you guys had enough time to vote. Hey, best mommy. I'm trying to keep it real. How about you? 80s bass V1. That was Rosen Nettles' request. Okay, sweet. So, I'm going to do this. Second track of the day. I was I was at a good pace. Now I'm behind. I gotta hurry up. Gotta hurry up. So what are we doing? Oh yes. So while I'm while I'm doing this improv, uh, be thinking about um, be thinking about titles. Type exclamation point title in your suggestion. If you're new and or if you're a regular but you haven't made a request yet today, uh, make a request. There's a good chance you'll get in on the next song. Uh, and uh, yeah, and if if you're totally new and trying to figure out what's going on, uh, easiest thing to do is type exclamation point drum loop or ex exclamation point drum fill. But there's detailed instructions in the link below. So or you can just watch and and you'll figure it out pretty fast how it works. <laughs> Rev Rev Rose says, hope someday you decide to share some of your obscure music taste. I'll give you one right now. Uh, Cecil Taylor. Cecil Taylor is a uh, was a, uh, a jazz piano player, but he played a kind of uh, uh, it was called free jazz, which free based off of freedom. And it is incredibly well, it's it's yeah, most people aren't going to like it. <laughs> but it's actually what made me want to become a musician. I was a teenager, and I heard Cecil Taylor. And I it just was like getting hit on the head with a hammer. I thought, man, this guy is saying something. He And, and then I realized music is a place where you can really just let everything out that's inside of you. And over the years, I sort of discovered you can say that, you know, that you can express yourself in all kinds of music. It doesn't have to be as incredibly dramatic as avant-garde free jazz is. It can be super subtle or whatever. But I needed at that age to be hit over the head with the possibility. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I especially like going to see free jazz live. I'm less into, I don't listen to as much on recording, but I really like going to see it live. It's the kind of thing where a big crowd for a free jazz show is probably 15 people. <laughs> the biggest free jazz people in the world, probably the most people they've ever played for is maybe 50 people. But it is unbelievable to play. It is so much fun to play. Fun isn't necessarily the right word. It is so 
cathartic. Um, yeah. Anyway, yes, bro, 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 you've got it right. Cecil Taylor. Uh, Eddie Hazel, you should be able to find. He's he was the most uh, famous guitar player in Funkadelic. They had a lot of different guitar players, but he was probably the most influential. Okay, let's play this music. Let's do it. Hey, Darifin. I'll give you a little about. So Cecil Taylor, I'll say one more thing. Like he'll he play. He was a classically trained. He had phenomenal skill, right? And he sometimes play with his fists, you know. Not with his fingers on He's banging the elbow, whatever. With an acoustic piano. But for a lot of people, they hear that music and it just sounds like noise or chaos. So it's, it takes, takes a little while to sort of get into it, I think. Anyway, let's do this. Here we go. Time to etcetera, guys. Time to stop talking and time to etcetera.
that was a fun one. I was, you know, all those sounds, I just, I felt like doing some old, like, you know, 8-bit Nintendo or, you know, early gaming. I don't know. I don't know if it sounded like that at all, but <laughs> I just sort of wanted this sort of herky-jerky thing a little bit. Little simple sounds, just beep, bop, boop. <laughs> And then the uh, and then I you know I was debating do I want to bring in something analog something acoustic and I decided to brought the trombone in hopefully it didn't ruin the effect but that was nice so let's see yeah those we had both those sweet beats weren't the and oh and the beats were pretty quirky too this is just ah it was it was a fun one. It was fun. Beats from Krypton and Jacob Beats Pizza. All those good sounds from everybody. Yeah. I hope you guys had fun like I did on that one. Okay, let's see. Did you guys come up with some titles? Let me see. So remember, let's not vote until I press the begin voting button or your your uh, uh, vote will not count. <laughs> Robot assembly line from Kid Charlemagne. Santa's Workshop from B-Day 15. Pixel Player from McGask. <laughs> and from Dom Dude. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah! <laughs> and lastly, oh, it's it it hard to choose a fifth one. There's a bunch of good ones here. Retro Retreat from The Lost Elf. So those are your options. Robot Assembly Line, Santa's Workshop, Pixel Player. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. And Retro Retreat. So type the number in chat. Meanwhile, I will start doing my... Oh, yeah, I played trombone on that. Krypton says, my feet is freezing. Uh, it looks fine on my, uh, I'm monitoring it, my, my, my stream. And on my page looks okay. Oh, no, it froze again. Oh, is it? No, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Is it streaming for everyone else? Freezing? Maybe it might be an issue with Twitch's servers because at least for me, uh, it doesn't look like it's freezing. Okay, I'm going to wait a moment more. Yeah, if it keeps freeze, let me know, but uh it might be a Twitch thing. I don't know, because yeah, I've got I've got it up on a web page and it and it looks okay. Okay, many voting. What'd you guys choose? Pixel player! It was close between that and oh yeah? Oh yeah. A pixel player came from Megask. Thanks for the suggestion, Megask. Thanks to everyone for your suggestions. That song will be forever remembered as Pixel Player. Okay, let us carry on. Create a new empty track for us to fill. Let's 
let's see. What do I do? I need anything? I'm, I think I'm starting to warm up. My, my, I don't feel quite as damp anymore. Yeah. Good. Still a little, still a little chilly in here. Whew. Whew. Okay. So let's start bringing in these requests. Let's see. Oh, good. You guys gave me some uh, some key requests. And once again, you guys filled up every slot. Pretty sweet. We're in the key of D minor from Sour Frog. Uh, 100 beats a minute from Drift Monkey. Um, looks like we have a, I'm going to, I, drum fill request from Chartreuse Joker. I think that's your first request. So drum fill requests, you'll have to keep your eye peeled for on the, uh, far corner of the screen. As I'm playing, you'll see a credit when your, when your drum fill happens. We got drum loose from Elite Six and Ariona Esquire. We'll look at our sounds in just a moment. Um, oh, cause chat does cause does chat think that I, I'm I have a green screen? Is that what's going on? I'll do a, yeah, you I'll show you guys how big this room is. Here we go. I, I couldn't go all the way. My, my inner monitor cable would not go all the way, so I couldn't quite make it to the far corner. But yes, it is a relatively large room. Okay, let's see. I'm not in a basement. Um... I am in a old brick mill style building. I'm on the second floor. Is it brick? No, it's not. Wait. Yeah, it is brick. It is brick. We have a wood roof. Second floor. Uh, it was a. F it had been a studio. I was lucky to find it when I did. It's not 100% soundproof, but it's pretty good. But I eventually, I, I, I am not a fan of my backdrop at all. Uh, I don't like it. But, and I intend to change it at some point, but as I don't know when that will happen. Okay, let's load up these sounds. But some of you guys saw me unveil my uh, this new camera that it wasn't quite ready for prime time, but it's a tracking camera, and I I I decided I'm not going to put it on stream again till I'm truly ready for it because there's. But anyway, the the main advantage of the tracking cam is it will allow me to use a lot more of my space, uh, but not be tiny because the camera will be able to follow me a bit as I move around the room. Because I get a little stir-crazy having to stand right here. <laughs> when I, back when I was, you know, a long time ago, when I did a lot of you know, touring and played with bands, playing at clubs, I, I'm not one to stand in one place. I like to move around. Anyway, we have the sidechain processor from Corbin MLG. That kick is crazy. Okay. Initialize importer track names. Generate our drum fills. Generate our drum loops. And I 
just want to check one thing quickly. Hold on. us okay there we go where am I oh yes let's look at our loops whoops that doesn't look right there we go elite six look at this elite six you've been wanting your drum loops and then you got one last night and you got one right away here Hey, Pacella, no worries. Good luck with all the work. <laughs> I assume that's a compliment, Redshirt. Thank you. I like your username. Have you read? There was a... Uh, just randomly. I don't, I don't read sci-fi that often anymore. I did a ton when I was a kid. But um, I just randomly read a book called Maybe you guys remember, I don't remember the title exactly. I think it was called Red Shirt or Red Shirts by John Scalzi, I think. And it's a whole book that's told, written from the perspective of the Red Shirts. So if you guys don't know who Red Shirts are, it's a reference, I think, originally to Star Trek, maybe. How there would always be like the, you know, the guys in the Red Shirts and they would get killed, but none of the main characters would ever get killed. So if you've got a Red Shirt, you're just sort of, you know, it's all over for you. But yeah, it was a fun little book. Just imagining, you know, the realization that, you know, like, oh, we are not the main character in our life. We are just side characters in someone else's story. <laughs> okay, let's check out Elite Six's Beat Raw. Nice. That's actually pretty sweet as it is. I have to put a kick here, though, so I know where we are on the beat. But I think... I'm trying to think. Do I want to... Um... I think I'm just going to leave it how it is. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Nice one, Elite Six. Usually I vary the hi-hats, but I'm, I'm liking the real consistency of those. And we got Ariona Squire. Let's check this out raw. That's pretty sweet too. I'm gonna drop this snare though a bit and add a kick. I'm gonna drop that kick a bit. But I like how these snares are working. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make them sort of decrescendo. And I'm gonna add a snare there. And I think I want a hat right there. Okay, let's check out Ariana's beat. And I want to kick there. That's sweet too. Nice. This is two sweet beats right there. I came from Ariona and Elite Six. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the requests. Let's check out the sounds. We got Bright Suitcase from McGask. That is a nice road sound. We got... Bluegrass Banjo from Kid Charlemagne. And 
we're probably going to put an arpeggiator on that, I think. We got acoustic harp from the Lost Elf. Glass marimba soft mallet from marimba mime. We got water guitar from Cape Pounty. Lastly, we have wave pad groove. Nice. And and my one warning on, on sounds like that, I, I always will use them, but I can't start the song with them uh, because sometimes the beat doesn't line up right. So what I have to do is sort of massage it in so that if it's not lining up, then I can do something else with it. So that it will be in the song, but it will not be uh, it will not be a, something you can vote on. So speaking of votes, let's bring up the list. So I'm gonna just delete wave pad groove. Although don't worry, it will be in the song. It just we just can't start with it. Okay, I'll demo once more. We got bright suitcase. Bluegrass banjo, acoustic harp, glass marimba soft mallet. Water guitar. Yeah, or we could start with one of the drum loops. So I will wait a moment while you guys do your voting. The votes are coming in. Wait a moment more. Okay, I'm ending voting. Let's see you guys chose. Acoustic harp. Who requested that? The Lost Elf. So we're going to start with the acoustic harp. So I'm going to do a little thing right here. So, and do I want... Yeah, I think I do. Let me just... I want to just quickly put a arpeggiator on that banjo. And then I'll be ready to go. That looks fine. Okay. Hey, Fractured Encoding. Okay, so while I'm playing this one, be thinking about uh, titles. And if, you're, uh, if you just logged in and you haven't made any requests yet, make some requests. Um, it will not be a super long show tonight, but we're going to at least do a, uh, probably, uh, two more after this one, maybe three, if I speed up incredibly fast. Hey, Big Star Tuna, how you doing? Okay, so it is time, it is that time of the show when I stop talking and I play some music. Here we go. Time to etcetera.
Oh, man. Oh, awesome beats from Elite Six and Ariana Esquire powering that one. Lovely drums from Corbin MLG. Just the combination of that drum kit and those loops was sweet. And then I was psyched. I was able to use the wave pad that Death Killer requested very prominently, especially in that second loop. That gave a sweet sort of uh, just rhythmic ambience to, to power what we were doing. Oh, thanks, guys. Thanks, Funky Pigeon. Oh, and uh, and uh, Epic Evil's here. How you doing, Epic Evil? Jenny Matrix. Hi, Jenny Matrix. But yeah, I'll, I want, how about the banjo in there? That was pretty sweet. From Kid Charlemagne. We had the nice roads from McGask and then the mallets and the harp from Lost Self and Mime and our guitar. I own oh, the melody. I was using the water guitar as a melodic instrument. Oh, sweet. Sweet set there. We got through all our drum fills. So let us name this baby. Give it a name. <laughs> Good luck, Elite Six. Let's see. I'm going to name it. What am I supposed to do? Oh, yes. I'm supposed to show you this screen. So, again, do not vote till I press begin voting, or your vote will not count. Wait till I bring all the title options over. It's dangerous to go alone from the Lost Elf. Crystal Palace from B-Day 15. Energize Water Droplets from Rose and Nettle. The Way It Flows from Big Star Tuna and Wind Tunnels from Death Killer 777. There were a bunch. I, I, could, I wish I could bring all of them, but you can only have so many. Those are your options. Type the number in chat for the title you feel best represents what you just heard. Uh, SJ Cantry says, Would you consider using instrument settings submitted by viewers? Uh, instrument settings, do you mean um, presets for like a specific, for like the alchemy synth? Is that what you mean? Um, or do you mean like just the sort of effect and volume type settings? Um, yeah, pe uh, people have asked about that. Um, I have to if if I do something like that, I have to figure out a way to do it that is very efficient. Um, but I it has been requested several times. Um, I also have to. Uh, uh, there's some I I need to figure out the legalities of using sounds that other people have created. So the sounds that I'm using on this show, I know have been legally released um, for use by anybody, royalty free. So I have to just, I have to do a little more research to figure out whether I can comfortably do it and not worry. Because the, the issue, the biggest issue, with, I think someone else had asked about samples earlier. The biggest issue is, is what will happen is a, a, not you, I know you wouldn't do this, but another viewer might send me a sample or request a sound that they send to me that is actually owned by somebody else, not by them. And then I'm dealing with a world of hurt 
<laughs> legally. Because that's a, the weird thing about copyright is that most things you you'll be fine. You you know you break a little copyright law, no one cares. But then one time you do and you break it for the wrong person, and then it is you're in. And I just I don't have the capacity to deal with a lawsuit right now. So that that is my hesitation. That's my biggest hesitation about it. So I have to think about a way that I'm comfortable with it, that's efficient, so I can quickly load the sound so it doesn't slow the show down. But in principle, I do like the idea. I just it's just it's a little complicated. Um, but yes, it is it is in my it's in my brain. It's on my list. So it might at some point that might be a feature. Okay, let's see what you guys chose. The way it flows. I agree, S.J. Cantor, but that's something I, I, I am not 100%. I'm pretty sure that you are correct that um, you cannot copyright sound settings, but I am not sure about that. I, and I, I don't like to guess on copyright because when you guess, you get in trouble. Hey, Syntopian. <laughs> So that is the way it flows. That we immortalize is the way it flows. Thank you to all for your suggestions. That was Big Star Tunas. But if, if I do something where people can send sounds or samples, I will probably have a legal document you guys think I'm paranoid, but I've seen some pretty horrific things happen in music where, over lawsuits that, you, that are insane, that are absolutely insane. Uh, and I don't want to have to ever deal with that. It would break my heart. Break my heart. If I were, like what happened recently with the uh, Marvin Gaye lawsuit, I have no, I'm, I will not, I'm not a, a, uh, uh, what is it, Robin Thicke fan, per se. That song was fine, but the fact that somebody sued and won was insane, absolutely insane. Could be the end of music, seriously. Like, that is the scariest thing I've seen happen. I'm not going to get into copyright. I, I want to play music today. I don't want to get all... And again, as I say, there is a copyright is not a bad thing. But there's ways to have copyright where everyone gets paid, everyone gets treated fairly, that does not hurt um, creativity, does not hurt innovation, it does not hurt smaller artists. Um, but in many ways, our current copyright system in the United States, at least, is broken, completely broken. Okay, let's see. Before I go on a diatribe, before I go on a diatribe about all this... Nothing revs me up like uh, misuse of copyright in the United States of America. But again, I'm not anti-copyright. I think there are ways to do it that is that are fair, that protects people, that people are compensated like they should be. Okay. I like that. I like what S.J. Cantry said. Music has the right to children. <laughs> hey, Stefan. Greetings from Germany. Thank you. Thanks for your thanks for your little note. I I, I appreciate you staying up so late to watch this show. I know it's tough for my European friends. Uh, Syntopia, no, I've not added anything. Not anything that you guys can appreciate. I'm constantly adding little things that make my job a little easier, but nothing that new for you guys, unfortunately. I have some massive projects that I'm working on that um, uh, and I, I think in the next week I want to start making it easier, at least not every song, but at least some songs where people can where we take notes from chat and we'd sort of generate a melody. 
I did that once once or twice before when I did solo melodica, and that was really fun, and I want to incorporate more of that, but I'm not ready for that yet. But yeah, nothing, not, no new features tonight, unfortunately. Okay, let's see. So we have time for maybe two more songs. It's a shorter show tonight because I have to leave. <laughs> Centopian is five degrees in New Jersey. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I have no I've been I've been whining. People have been watching the, the show, I've been whining about my, my cold hands. <laughs> I have nothing to complain about compared to that. <laughs> oh nice Ariona. Say hi to Best Mommy for me. Well I guess I can say directly to Best Mommy. Hi Best Mommy. <laughs> Okay, let's see. What am I? Oh yes, I'm supposed to bring in these requests. I gotta hurry if we're gonna do two more songs. Um, hey, it's work, work. How you doing, work, work? Work, work is giving us a BPM of 88 beats a minute. Um, we just have to bring in our key. Let's see, where is? What screen am I on? Looks like we had a key from Dom Dude of A flat minor. Let's get this going. Come on, computer. There you go. Oh, wow. Once again, you guys have filled up every request slot. So, yeah, I'm going to have to add more request slots so more people can participate. I will do effects soon. I will be doing notes before an effect, before effects, but eventually effects. That's why I was, you know, I thought I would have effects much sooner. That's why it's up on the screen. Okay, we've got drum loops from Brebra Bro. Bre, bre, bre. And we have Jenny Matrix. Jenny Matrix, I think this is your is this your first request or at least your first loop? Exciting and bra 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 bro. I don't know. I don't think. I think you did one loop before. Is that right? I can't remember. Okay, so now that we have all our slots filled, let us get all our sounds loaded while I get my mixer back to zero. Yeah, we do. We have at least at least two couples. It's pretty awesome. You know what? I I feel like a milestone for me as a streamer will be the day that uh we have a couple who met in chat who gets married. <laughs> Wouldn't that be sweet? <laughs> a couple who met in chat I wonder if that, I'm sure that's happened. I mean, there's so many channels and viewers on Twitch. I'm sure that's happened before, but I mean, I guess it takes a while because, you know, you guys are all over the universe. So the odds that two of you would meet and be in the close enough and like each other and be in a vicinity to realistically, you know, go on a first date and go through all that and then want a second date and keep it going. The odds are pretty low, but who knows, you know? That would be that would be pretty sweet. We have to do some, you know, have to have a special show for it, you know? <laughs> okay, let's see. We got Cavern Kit from Big Star Tuna. A nice, nice kit right there. Cavern Kit. Cavern Kit is a popular kit right there. I think my my favorite kit does not get requested that often. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is, but I, I I've actually been thinking I might request it myself <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Having et cetera kid request.
Uh, I don't know how fair that would be because currently I get lots of requests because I get to choose when I sing or play the horn. So. <laughs> I, I've bands I've been in. I've, I've played. I've, I've played a bunch of weddings in my life, and I've been in some bands that it was. I don't know what why they hired us. We were not the right choice for a wedding, <laughs> but they hired us, and it's like we're you know it's like we're we're doing our thing. I mean, I'm gonna tell you guys a funny story. So, uh, this is I. Back in my younger playing days, I, I didn't have the, um, I wasn't the most self-aware. And I need to, I need to, I'm going to do the short version of this story because you guys don't want the long version. I need to play music. But uh, short version of the story is we, we, I was in this sort of jazz group and we, we had this residency and there was this, this couple that they would, they'd come and see us always and they were fans and uh, they were the most attractive couple we'd ever seen. We were in high school at the time, I think. Or, yeah, I think we were still in high school. They were like models, both of them. You know, and they dressed just exquisitely. But they were super chill and everything. And they want us to play their wedding. And uh, we asked them, like, well, so what should we wear? He's like, oh, whatever. Wear whatever you want. So we show up at this wedding and to this day, of all the weddings I've ever been to, this was the fanciest. <laughs> Everybody there was a model. I don't know how it worked out. It's like the 80-year-olds looked like they were models. Like, you know, the whatever age, everyone was perfect. We show up. We're in, like, T-shirts and shorts, ratty, you know, holes in our shirts. You know, we we're, you know, like, ironic T-shirts. Um... But they, you know, the couple were totally cool. They're like, "No, you guys," because we were like, "Oh man, we, 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 something is bad here. We were not supposed to." But the couple, they were so sweet. They're like, "You guys look great. Just do your thing. We hired you to do your thing." So, you know, and, and when I start playing, I don't really have a filter. I just forget where I'm at, and I would often do this thing at shows. I would, I, I would jump out into the audience with the trombone and just go around, just blasting. And I, I decided it would be a good idea to do it at this wedding. <laughs> I was so self unself aware. I have no idea how people responded. I sort of wish I could go back in time because it probably was, for a lot of people, the most embarrassing experience. They were sort of embarrassed on my behalf. Like, what, what is this like seventeen year old kid think he is doing, running around our fancy wedding? blasting the trombone while the rest of his band is just raging up on stage yeah anyway sorry i'm I'm talking too much let's what are we supposed to do we got a cavern kid so yeah maybe some of you guys were there at the wedding do you remember that you know do you remember this crazy kid cavern kit i've done things like that a bunch back in the day <laughs> which in retrospect probably not the uh savviest thing to do okay bring in our drum loose we got bra 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 bro <laughs> Rev Rob Rose says, you're supposed to be accelerating, not talking. Okay, let's check out Rev Rob Rose's beat. <laughs> okay, that's pretty slamming. I'm going to make it a little more subtle. I'm going to make a few adjustments to it. Again, as always, I do not delete any notes that were generated from your username. What I do is I... Adjust the volume on them to make them a little less intense or to make them a little more musically interesting. And that's what I'm going to do with these snare drums. Whoops, and I did not mean to do that. That was not good, what I just did. Uh, 
Okay, we're going to add a kick. And I think we need some more hats. It's pretty, pretty spare on the hats right there. Um, okay, let's check out the more subtle Bread Rubber Bows beat. I'll bring those, you know, I'm going to bring those snares back a little bit. How about a, well, let's do a lot. No, that's too much. Okay, that's our beat. That is our bread rubber bow beat. Let's check out Jenny Matrix's beat. Uh, I think I need those snares back. Jenny Matrix, let's check this out raw. <laughs> That's an interesting one. Hmm. I'm going to vary my hats just a bit. Let's add a kick at the beginning. Let's drop these snares just a bit. Look at all those kicks. You know what? Since we're already essentially four on the floor, Let's add another kick there and a snare. And these kick snares will drop just a bit. Oh, it's Jenny Matrix's beat. You know what? And let's bring those snares back. I liked how they were loud. And this snare I want cranked. Yeah, Aston told me it definitely it definitely does sound like well it's cavern kit. Yeah, it sounds like the kit is super far away. We got these these room mics, no close miking on the kit at all. So it's huge sounding, but also very reverby. Okay, sweet. Nice. Okay. Let me see. Um, we have our sounds. We are supposed to uh, demo our sounds. Acid etched bass from Chartreuse Joker. <laughs> What's cool, Jenny Matrix, is that uh, you can request a drum loop again sometime. And you're, and it will generate a different beat, but it is still generated from your username. Um, and it will be different than someone else's because, for example, because you have two ends, the beat generates the same thing for those two ends. They'll be different each time you have a new beat, but within a single beat, your ends will be the same, your X's will be the same. So the unique DNA imprint of your username it will always is inherent to the beat. Okay, that's our acid etch bass from Chartreuse Joker. Got sidechain mallet from Megask. All these sounds that have sidechain in the name, I guess it's a hint to sidechain, but I'm not set up to do sidechaining, so. That's interesting. Lots of delay on that. Ambience pluck from Sour Frog. Oh, did I say that? And sidechain came from Megask. We've got ambience pluck. Warm bells from K Pounty. I don't think that's the right sound. That doesn't sound like warm bells. Let me check. Did my program screw up? No, oh, I guess it's called warm. That's interesting. Huh. Warm bells. Sounds more like a pad than a bell sound. I like it, though. I got access codes from Best Mommy.
and and death killer has requested on puggy's behalf puggy small bites uh syntopian well i'm using logic all the sounds are in logic so i could i could side chain there um It would be easy. I'm sure there's a way I could figure out doing it with Ableton. It's a little, you know, I do a different setup since my my all the keyboard sounds are not actually in Ableton. It's just MIDI that's in Ableton. But I'm sure. What am I doing with? Oh yeah, I want to add a little reverb and delay. Okay. Syntopian, have you ever d used uh, um, the uh, voc vocoder in Logic? I've I've used that a couple times. I did some solo stuff on this show, but I haven't done it in like a month and a half. I haven't done anything with the vocoder. I'm not set up to do the vocoder with the looping yet, but I should do some vocoder stuff again. I, I forget about it. It's really fun. Okay, let's see. Where are we at? Oh yeah, you guys choose the sounds. The sound, singular, that will start this next improv. So I'll demo the sounds once more. We can start with one of the drum loops or with acid's etched bass. Sidechain mallet. Ambience pluck. Warm bells. Access codes or puggy small bites. All right. Ah, oh, see now, Syntopian has a standalone vocoder, so much cooler and better than a software version. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I, uh, at some point, it would be fun to have a, an actual vocoder, have a talk box. At one point, I had a talk box, uh, but I, I had to sell it. I didn't think I would ever need it again, I think, at the time. Also, I had a Mini Moog Voyager. That I had to sell for financial reasons at one point. That was a long time ago. That was sweet. Oh, the things I used to have. It would be fun to have now. Yeah, I, when I when I moved out here, I didn't know that I was ever going to really do music again. When I moved to California. I had a I had a drum kit, acoustic, an electric drum kit, a whole lighting rig, concert lighting, fog. I had some fog even. Well, that was not for music. I got that because of. I was, we were filming uh, at a video company. We filmed bands and stuff, and we needed to use the fog for that. But, ah, it'd be fun now, you know? <laughs> Toby has two Voyagers. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well, analog synths are so fun. Okay, let's see you guys chose. Puggy Small Bites. Nice. You know what, guys? I'm going to do one other thing to Puggy Small Bites. I might regret this because I'm not going to demo it first. I'm just going to do it and hope that whatever I do works because I'm not going to know until I start playing what's going to happen. It might work. It might be disastrous, but I'm going to do it. I'm just going to put this random chord arpeggiator on it. It's not an arpeggiator. It's a rhythmic thing. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. I'm, I chose complex chord groove number two. We'll see what happens. This could be a huge, huge disaster. Oh, I'm so tempted to, to just test it first, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Eggship snacks. I think before I before I have the fog machine, I need to have lights because it's it's the lights that make the fog look cool. 
It's the light show. So that's probably the first step. The lights behind me are just normal uh, little incandescent bulbs that look a little cooler, I hope, because of the lens I'm using. The bokeh on the lens makes them flare out a bunch. But yeah, at some point, that's the plan. Is I love you know, have a bunch of different setups for this show, so you don't I don't bore you guys with my background. And one of those setups will be a more traditional looking thing with lighting and stuff. Uh, but that's that's down the road a long ways. You might need to you know come back in six months or something or a year before that. <laughs> that's gonna be a little while. Okay, let's do this. I need to hurry so we can play one more after this, at least. Let's see. So as I'm playing this, be thinking about titles. If you are, if you've not made a request yet tonight, make a request, and there's a chance you'll be able to get in on the last one after this. Uh, if I'd been a little further ahead, we could do two more, but I don't think. I don't know. We'll see. I, I have to stop and basically. 45 minutes max so I gotta hurry even to do two right now okay here we go let's do it let's play some music I t I'm talking way too much
Ah, well, a groovy little number. That's nice beats there. So, you guys saw me grinning at the beginning of the song. I, I, I don't know if you noticed. As I told you, I, I didn't know what was going to happen. I was just going to do it. I thought I knew what was going to happen. I thought when I, 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 I thought I was going to hit that note, it was a chord I was playing, and that it was going to loop. But it didn't. It just hit one note. It just went beep. And then I did it again. It just went beep again. Because I, I, I misremembered how that particular thing, <laughs> that arpeggiator program worked. I don't know what my brain was doing. But then, you know, it was cool. It was a nice, weird, little, simple way to start the start the improv. And then later, I remembered how to do it. And I brought it in. We had a, this nice little rhythmic thing from Puggy Small Bites. But I was, I was, sometimes I just, it, I just crack up at how, at the unexpected things that happen. <laughs> but I liked it. I wasn't, it wasn't bad. It was just, it was just unexpected. Anyway, thanks guys. Thanks for the, thank God you guys enjoyed that one. Let us. I gotta hurry. We're gonna do one more, but let's first let's name this. See if you guys gave me some suggestions. So remember, do not vote until I press begin voting. Hey man, a fight. How you doing? You, you're catching just the end of the show, but you're here. You're gonna hear one more, one more after this. So look at these titles. Actually, I want to just check something. Let's see. <laughs> this is a good one. Deep Space Lollipop from Chartreuse Joker. Let's see. Ghostland from Quisco. Deep Space Groove from Bre Bre Bro. Outer Voyage from Divine Cosm. And one more. Electric Tides from Epitaph 07. Now those are your options. Deep Space Lollipop, Ghostland, Deep Space Groove. Oh, I let two Deep Space in. I like both of them, though. They're different. <laughs> You've got you've got deep space options of lollipop or groove, outer voids and electric tides. So type the number in chat for your favorite. What did I do on this? I just did a little voice. Meanwhile, I will carry on. And I'll wait a moment more for you guys to vote. Meanwhile, I need to do a little prep work. Right here. Okay, okay. Any voting. Let's see you guys chose. Electric Tides. Nice. That came from Epitaph07. Thanks for the suggestion, Epitaph. Thanks to everyone for your suggestions. That song we forever remembered as Ep Electric Tides. So, we prepare for our final track of the night. This is good. I will be able to finish on time and get to my my appointments and interviews. For those of you who are wondering why I'm ending, I have to end so promptly tonight. It's because I have roommates, and we have a 
a vacancy uh, in the house. And so we are interviewing potential new housemates. So I cannot be late for that. Normally we do this earlier, but now that I have my show, that's not possible. Okay, so let's see. Just going to get these in. Okay. So we have F sharp minor from work work. We have 122 beats a minute from 420 jumbo. We're going out sort of fast not super fast but often we go <laughs> we got the cavern kit once again what are the odds cavern kit twice in a row was it twice was it the last one i think it was we've got drum loose from epitaph and phibus a bunch of sounds so let's start loading those up we filled every slot, four shows in a row. That's right. Thanks to thanks to Dom dude for rallying. Make sure we get that covered. So, those of you who uh, who have started watching the show recently should know that for at least the first month I was doing this show. Uh, Often the majority of these slots were, were not filled by humans. They were filled by what we call the Greeks here, which are my RNGs, different Greek gods and goddesses and titans and titanesses who would make requests on the behalf of the absent humans. But they, their services have not been required for the most part any longer okay getting all that back Okay, what am I supposed to do? Oh, yes, we've got our cavern kit once again. Big star tuna. Our big cavern kit. So how much we can initialize, import our track names, generate our drum fills, generate our drum loops. Let's check this out. We got Epitaph and Phibus. So let's look at Epitaph's beat. So this is raw before I make some little adjustments. <laughs> so it's pretty, pretty slamming. We're going to vary these hats a bit, drop them a bit, add a kick here. Uh, sure, why not? It's unconventional, but we're going to have... I'm in unconventional mood. That kick pattern is not conventional at all. There's nothing conventional about that kick pattern. Well, in terms of its relationship to the snares. But let's, I, you know, I think it's going to be cool. I like it. Let's just drop these snares a little bit. Okay, here it is. And 
let's drop that snare just a little bit more. And do I want, I think I want a kick there. There it is. Ah, that's, I'm feeling that. That is sweet. Sweet. Thanks, Epitaph. Now we have our Fibus beat. Let's check it out raw. <laughs> oh, man, that's pretty cool. I just feel like I need it. I need to. I'm gonna need a kick right there. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave this pretty close. I think. I'm just gonna drop these. Let's just. Uh, let's. Let's just add some hats. I think we just need there. There we go. Okay, this is Fibus's beat. Drop that snare a bit. I know Syntopian. I need to set up this screen. I, I don't have it set up to easily access the toms. I need to fix that at some point. But I am I'm liking that. We're gonna go out sort of slamming tonight. Let's see what sounds you guys give me to accompany these beats. We got Din DX bass from Best Mommy. Double bass from Brucos. Hey, Brucos. Bases Pizzicato from Magas. Three bases. Got gentle rain shower from Rosanetto. Waveform saw from Death Killer. That is listed in my as as a as a pad, but it is not a pad. That's a weed sound. And then we got Funky Lead from Syntopian. Whoa, that's cranked. Okay. Wow, so we've got all these basses and these massive synth sounds and then one lovely gentle rain shower pad. So you guys choose... I gotta hurry, don't I? Well, I'm, I'm sort of okay. As long as I don't play too long of a song. So, I'll demo once more. We can start with one of those beats or with Din DX bass. We've got double bass. Bass is pizzicato. Ra gentle rain shower. Wave so waveform saw. Or funky weed from Syntopian. And if I didn't, I don't remember if I credited, but I think I did. We get F sharp minor from Work Work, 122 beats a minute from 420 Jumbo. Okay, votes are coming in. So this is my my last song of the night. I know this is one of the shortest shows I've ever done. Uh, I will be back tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern time, and then I'll be back all day next every uh, weekday next week. 
Uh, I'm not going to miss any days as of now, despite the holidays. Um, but I hope you'll stay through the end of the song. After we'll name it, we'll look back at our shorter set list of the night. And we will raid somebody. Um, hey, Danny, there's nowhere to buy this song. You can just see it live right now. Just I'm just live. Live on Twitch. It's the only place to, to see or hear the Etc. Kid right now is on Twitch. I'm exclusive. Exclusive. Okay, let's see. What did you guys choose? Gentle Rain Shower. Okay. So we're going to start with the Gentle Rain Shower. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm getting hosted once again. Hey, couple streams. How are you guys? You're catching me as I'm. I'm. I'm only gonna be able to do one more. I. 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 I have this hard cutoff. I have to leave. Uh, I have to stop in like 20 minutes. But if 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 you got any folks watching or jumping in, we're doing one more. So it'll be. I'm gonna make it as as awesome as I can. Okay, Jumbo. I'll try to remember. I've been saying 420 so many times. I will. <laughs> how are you guys doing a couple streams i have to say um since you're since you're here i i just have to give my profound deep thanks to a couple streams they they raided me on november 30th uh, i think it was november 30th and since then my uh, average viewership has basically tripled, tripled to quadrupled since their raid. So that was uh, pretty sweet. Thank you so much, guys. And, and anyone here, I'm sure you already all know a couple strains, but if for some reason you don't, they're, they're amazing, um, just amazing duo, um, beautiful, beautiful voices, beautiful guitar and bass um they play it they've got a ton of awesome songs they play they do some original stuff it's amazing so i hope you guys will go check them out and follow them uh as soon as you can <laughs> everyone's writing their naming themselves renaming oh thanks couple streams thank you Okay, okay, let's do this. I gotta hurry, right? Especially if I do something, if I stretch, oh my, 7.30, oh wow. Gotta hurry. Okay, let's do this final, final, final song of the night. It's gonna be, I don't know what it's gonna be. We're starting off with Gentle Rain Shower, which is this mellow sound, and then we've got these slamming synth sounds, and those drums are pretty slamming. So anyway, while I'm playing, be thinking about titles, uh, for the track, type exclamation point title in your suggestion. Um, I guess there are no more other requests, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I hope you'll stick around to the end of the song, whatever happens. And we will say our tearful goodbyes and we will we'll, we'll do a raid and all that fun stuff. So stick around. Here we go. Time to do some etc. rating.
Ah, that was a that was a fun fun way to end the show. So that I think that song was was one of the best examples of how important the decisions you guys make are. So before that song, right, we had our two drum loops, and they were just these slamming. Oh, thanks everybody. They were these just hardcore beats, right? Like it's a cavern kid, big, loud, aggressive. We had all these huge synth sounds. I'll play you these synth sounds um, once more at, at the volume that they were at without... I. These were our synth sounds. We had this sound. And we had this. We had this big bass sound. But because you guys wanted me to start with gentle rain, right? Because of that, because we start with this mellow gentle rain, I decided I t made the drums much quieter. I put a lot of reverb on them. I brought those synth sounds way down, put a lot of reverb and delay, and I kept the whole song mellow. So if you guys had chosen a different sound, it would have been to start, it would have been a different song, completely different. That's what's cool about improv is it is that it's about Every you're reacting to what just happened and reacting to what just happened and just sort of building on it, not going in with preconceived notions. But that's that's what makes the show so fun for me is that is the way in which you guys shape what I do and make something happen that I you know because so yeah I don't know hope hopefully you all were able to appreciate your influence. Anyway, thanks to everyone for making the request for that. Let's see, did you guys come up with some titles? Oh, I gotta hurry. I gotta hurry. Let's check out the titles you guys came up with. Okay, remember, wait to vote until I press the begin voting button or your vote will not count. I'm gonna bring over a, a, a few of these titles. We have... <laughs> We've got the Skeptic's Queen from Synthtopian Outer Orbit Observations from Rosa Nettle. Spirit Rising for, from Ariona. Uh, Wings That Cross Time from Bre 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 Bro. And only one more. Oh, there's so many good ones. Um, Rainfall Harmony from Meg Hawk. So those are your options. Skeptics Queen, Outer Orbit Observation, Spirit Rising, Wings Across Time, and Rainfall Harmony. So I will give you guys a moment to make your vote count, make it heard, and I will do some prep over here. Whoops. While you guys are voting, and let me... Check something. Let's get our figure out who we're going to raid. Okay. Bra 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 bro says, did you draw the flower? I don't know what flower you're referring to. Is there a flower somewhere? <laughs> I don't know about any flower. Okay, I'll wait a moment more. Let's see what you guys chose. Oh, the anticipation. Hey, yellow taco ball. Sadly, I'm just about to end. Okay, I'm ending voting. Let's see what you guys chose. Outer Orbit Observations. That came from Rosen Nettle. That's pretty sweet. That is going to be our title for Outer Orbit Observations. I like that. That's great. Thanks for the suggestion. I have a hard time saying suggestion. You guys notice that sometimes? I sometimes say good suggestion. Thank you to everyone for your sig title suggestions. 
Uh, you guys come up with amazing titles. I love it. One of the most fun parts of the show is, is seeing what you guys have come up with. So that that is our... Let's look at our set. Let's look what we did tonight. We did five songs. Racing the Deluge, Pixel Player, The Way It Flows, Electric Tides, Outer Orbit Observations. And we featured requests from Jumbo, Adorkable Pony, Ariona, B-Day, 15, Best Mommy, Big Star Tuna, Bro, 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 Brucos, Carlito, Chartreuse Joker, Cheap Cheddar, Corbin, MLG, Krypton, Death Killer, 777, Dom Dude, Drift Monkey, Epitaph, Fibus, Fractured Encoding, Funky Pigeon, Maximus, Jacob's Eats Pizza, Jenny Matrix, Kid Charmin. Oh, I thought I was doing one breath. K Pounty, Casilton, Lightbird, Megas, Mana Plate, Marimba Mine, Rose and Nettles, Ship Snacks, Sour Frog, Syntopian, The Lost Elf, Walrus, Work Work, Wizard of Odds, and Elite Six. Thank you, everybody, for those requests, for making this music what it was tonight. Uh, thanks for, you guys filled up every request slot. It's fourth show in a row that that's happened, and only... The fifth show in history, I think, where it's happened. It's only recently, maybe fifth or sixth, it's only recently that we've been able to fill up every request slot. So that is awesome. So we're going to do a raid. Um, I'm going to paste our our little raid call into chat for you guys. Um, and I'm also going to paste the link. If this is what, I'm, what we're going to raid is really fun, so stick around. Don't leave quite yet. Just wait till I give the link because it's going to be, it's pretty fun if you haven't seen it before. But I just pasted in our little raid so you can copy that. Um, and let me get the link. Do I have the link? Hopefully it's still going. Let me just double check that there's, last time I, one of the recent times I sent you guys on a raid, uh, they had just stopped. Okay, okay. So I'm going to paste the link in in a moment. And the thing is to, is to click on the link. So you actually go to their channel and send all our et cetera um, good vibes and energy. Call out our little raid. Uh, have fun. This, this is a really fun thing that I'm going to link to you guys. Um, it will, I'll, I'll have it in. I'll paste it after I say goodbye. But anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Um, you guys have been awesome. I'll be back tomorrow night. 8 p.m. Eastern. I'll be back Monday through Friday next week. I hope to see y'all again soon. Um, but uh, whatever you do, wherever you are, whenever you are, why ever you are, whoever you are, was that all my W's? Hopefully I got all my W's in. Uh, I hope it's good. I hope you're jamesing and grooving and having a good, good life, good time, uh, good everything, good universe, baby. So thank you. Have a good night. I'll see y'all soon. Stick around. Watch for the link. I'm going to paste it right now.